I thought of following on my previous post regarding the strengthening and the pushing or as it was pointed, said, you know, sometimes it's defined supporting and, and uh, you know, having your diaphragm down and firm. I try to explain this way. You're most likely when you when you have those problems that we're, we're, we're talking them before, which is a pushed voice, a pushed sound, you get tired. What you feel, the diaphragm is, you cannot perceive your diaphragm, let's put it this way. It's uh, not subject to perception. What you can feel is what it does when you inhale. When you inhale, you feel that it something in your from, from below the thorax, it start, starts to push down and you feel like an expansion. That is your tissue right, that are moved out from your diaphragm, coming down, this, this kind of membrane, muscle. It's a, it's a muscle, but I said membrane because it's like something that um, seals. I hope you got <laughs> you get what I mean. It's like a, a fascia. So it pushes down your, 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 your Bishere and you feel the belly expanding. Now that's the only way you can feel your def diaphragm with an expansion. When you start singing, if that expansion starts to go, if that sensation of uh, um, inflation starts to go too quickly, that's because your vocal cords are not sealed, they're not closed. So breath escapes through it. If you are trying to feel something down there, you're most likely to be engaging your abdominal muscles, the rectus, transversus, internal and external, and uh, the transversus, which should be somewhat engaged, but the problem is the, the rectus. So most of the time when people say, oh, push down, they, they are trying to contract the rectus, which is now pushing your diaphragm inwards. It's not try it, see, the diaphragm recoils by itself. You don't choose where you know oh now for a certain note lower your diaphragms and for certain other notes let it come up it, it doesn't work that way your diaphragm once it what once came down with the inhalation starts to deflate and the rate at which it deflates is dictated by the, the closure of the vocal cords so that's how you manage your breath your support with your cords in a way you are helping you with, with the transversus, the feeling of the transversus working. You don't lock your rib cage. Um, what other sensation you have? So, yeah, you don't feel inflated, but it feels like, and that's why we say inhalare la voce, it feels like you are on the inhalatory uh, position, the inhalatory gesture. So, intercostals, I mentioned them, but, but the main thing is that you stay in a state of uh, quietitude, relaxed, which doesn't mean collapsed. There is an absence of tensions, of strength, of strength has having to be used. So I hope that gives you a hint on what you should check that is in place or not. So if you're feeling tension, there is a always say this to my students, there is a neurological uh, connection between uh, tensing the abdominals and closing the vocal cords, uh, uh, tensing them. It's given by the fact that, you know, in, in normal day-to-day -day life, if you have to do a physical effort, so you have to engage your core, the cores will automatically close, otherwise you, if you're going to do an effort without closing the cores, you would end up doing this. <laughs> And having no energy whatsoever to do, no no support for your limbs or, or legs or arms to to do the, the uh, um, movement that you ask them to do, the, the, the lifting that you ask them to do. So, yeah, I hope this clarifies a bit things. I'm always open to questions, but the, it's a very different thing between feeling um, uh, tenseness that is given to the expansion of your diaphragm, which comes down with inhalation, and that is in place because you are retarding, <laughs> retarding, you are, you are slowering the rate of your breath.
breath escaping from, from your throat, from your vocal cords. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the other sensation, which is having to push down, control, tense. I hope that explains it. Keep studying. Bye.